Hello, all you healthy blood pressure warriors. My name is David Fry, and I'm the founder of HealthyBloodPressure.com. There's a gas on the inside of your body that reduces the stiffness of your arteries. This gas causes blood vessels to widen and more blood to flow through your arteries. This gas has even been proven in studies to enhance athletic performance. It's also been known to improve erectile dysfunction in men, which is good news if you're an older man like me. Okay, what is the human gas that I've been talking about? Well, it's called nitric oxide. And in this video, we'll look specifically at how nitrous oxide can help lower your blood pressure. What is nitric oxide and its connection to lowering high blood pressure? All right, nitrous oxide is a gas that's already present within the body. It's made of nitrogen and oxygen. Your body constantly produces this gas that helps in different functions. It relaxes your blood vessels and thus controls your blood pressure. Let's talk about some research studies that prove that nitric oxide lowers blood pressure. In one study by the British Heart Foundation, researchers tested the effects of dietary nitrate on blood pressure. Now dietary nitrate is a nitrate that you get from food. Your body then converts these nitrates into nitric oxide. In the study, 68 patients were given 250 milliliters of beetroot juice every day. Beets are rich in dietary nitrates, which your body again can convert to nitrous oxide. This went on for four weeks, and at the end of the study, scientists saw a reduction in blood pressure in all patients. The reduction was about seven points for the systolic reading and about three points for the diastolic reading. In another study by the American Society for Nutrition, scientists studied different vegetables that are high in nitrates. 11 men and seven women participated in this study. They drank beetroot juice, a spinach beverage, and a rocket salad beverage. Then the observers waited for 150 minutes. What they noticed is that everyone's upper blood pressure number fell by at least five points. And there are many other studies that prove that nitric oxide lowers blood pressure. Let's talk about how nitric oxide lowers your blood pressure. Almost every cell in your body produces nitric oxide. The molecules flow throughout your body. They carry out a very specific function within your blood vessels. They help the inner muscles of your blood vessels to relax. This relaxation of blood vessels is crucial to lowering your blood pressure. Here's the reason. Your heart needs to pump harder to send blood through tight blood vessels. This raises your blood pressure. But nitric oxide opens up the paths for blood to flow easily by relaxing the blood vessels. Now your heart can relax and pump at a normal rate. This whole process brings your blood pressure levels down. Let's talk about nitric oxide supplements. No supplement directly supplies nitric oxide to your body, but there are other compounds found as supplements that help your body to make more nitric oxide. The most popular of these compounds are L-citrulline and L-arginine. Both of these are amino acids. An amino acid is a molecule that helps in making protein. Both of these amino acids are already present in your body. The body converts them to make nitric oxide as required, but sometimes the body doesn't make enough of it. You could then take one or both of these amino acids as a supplement. Your body can then safely produce more nitric oxide. So how do supplements produce nitric oxide? Well, some special cells called endothelial cells line the inner walls of your blood vessels. These cells produce most of the nitric oxide found in your body. These cells talk to the other cells in the muscles of your blood vessel. This communication happens through nitric oxide. The muscle cells then understand that they need to relax. Nitric oxide supplements don't contain any nitrous oxide. They have to communicate indirectly to the nitric oxide producing cells. That's exactly what L-arginine and L-citrulline do. These amino acids are present in most nitrous oxide supplements. 
they enter your endothelial cells and push them into making more of this highly useful nitrous oxide. The rest is taken care of by the cells. Let's talk about the side effects that you might experience with nitrous oxide supplements. Now most people do fine with nitrous oxide supplements. There's no official dosage for these supplements, but L-citrulline supplements are available as capsules ranging from 500 milligrams to 1500 milligrams. You cannot quickly overdose on nitrous oxide. Experts suggest that up to 15 grams of L-citrulline should be safe for most people. But everyone is different. It's always better to talk to a doctor before buying a supplement. And how do you know whether you're overdosed? Well, you can tell through a few symptoms. You may experience nausea, diarrhea, bloating, heartburn, or a headache. None of these are usually too severe. Stop taking the supplement and talk to your doctor right away if these symptoms don't go away. Okay, who should not take nitrous oxide? Well, nitrous oxide is safe for most people, but it can worsen certain specific conditions. Some liver diseases can get worse with more amounts of nitrous oxide in the body. Some people have another rare condition in which the body cannot shed off L-arginine. This creates a toxic effect and such people should avoid nitrous oxide supplements. Some other diseases that can worsen with nitrous oxide supplements include kidney issues and herpes. Those who deal with low blood pressure also shouldn't take nitrous oxide supplements. Nitrous oxide can further lower the blood pressure in such patients and cause an emergency. All right, what are some of the natural ways to increase nitrous oxide in your body? Supplements aren't the only way to increase the production of nitrous oxide in your body. You can also get plenty of nitrates right from your diet. Simply include sufficient amounts of vegetables that are rich in nitrates. These vegetables include beetroot, spinach, lettuce, celery, arugula, cress, and chervil. Load up on these leafy greens to get the best out of these natural sources of nitrates. Getting enough nitrates isn't the only thing you should do. You must also get plenty of antioxidants. This is because nitrous oxide molecules are free and quickly disappear into your bloodstream. Antioxidants can stabilize these free molecules. Antioxidants are found in fruits, veggies, nuts, legumes, seeds, and grains. Regular exercise is also one of the best ways to keep your nitrous oxide producing cells healthy. In summary, uncontrolled high blood pressure is a risky illness. It can cause heart failure, stroke, or other issues. You can lower your blood pressure in many different ways. One way is to increase nitrous oxide into your body. Nitrous oxide reduces blood pressure by allowing your blood vessels to relax. You can get enough nitrous oxide through vegetables rich in nitrates. You may also want to try out nitrous oxide supplements. These supplements are usually safe, but may be risky for some people. Always speak with your doctor before you take these pills and powders. Lead an overall healthy lifestyle, add plenty of veggies to your diet, and exercise regularly. These steps will help your cells produce the required amount of nitrous oxide that your body needs. An adequate amount of nitrous oxide can maintain healthy levels of blood pressure. Hi there, if you suffer from high blood pressure like I do, and you wanna receive my educational videos about how to lower your blood pressure, I'd like to ask you to do three simple things right now. Number one, click the subscribe button right there. And then number two, click on the bell icon right down there so that I can notify you the moment I release a new video. And number three, watch another one of my more popular healthy blood pressure videos right over there. Okay, thanks for watching and have a happy and healthy day.